And now, the rest of the story. Lieutenant Commander William W. Outer Bridge, a skipper of the USS Ward, an American destroyer prowling the Pacific Ocean. This next you're going to see through his eyes. It's 0357, three minutes to four in the pre-dawn darkness. Captain Bill is awakened from a sound sleep. One of his men is reporting a message received from a nearby minesweeper only minutes ago. The minesweeper had sighted something suspicious. Could have been a submarine periscope. All right, says Captain Bill. His destroyer, the Ward, will search the area. One hour passes. Lookouts, nothing. Sonar, nothing. Apparently, the minesweeper had been mistaken. Captain Bill returns to his bunk, returns to sleep. Shortly past 6.30, he is awakened once more. It's his officer of the deck calling, Captain Quick, come out on the bridge. The excited crew of the ward is leaning at the rails, pointing in the distance. From the bridge, Captain Bill sees only the Antares. That's another American ship. No, he is told, look. Look over there. Now Captain Bill squints into the eerie light of early morning. He scans the rolling deep, and then he sees it. It's a small, silent silhouette trailing the Antares. No doubt about it. It's the conning tower of a Japanese submarine. Overhead, a U.S. Navy patrol plane also sights the sub. And as the aircraft releases smoke flares to pinpoint the enemy's location, Captain Bill and his destroyer are heading for a showdown. The ward is only 100 yards from the Japanese sub when she, our destroyer, commences firing. The first shot from the bow gun of the ward is a clean miss. The second shot is a direct hit right at the base of the submarine's conning tower. The submarine heels over and slows down and begins to sink. Four explosive depth charges finish the job. It is now 6.45 a.m. Within five minutes, the 14th Naval District will be notified by radio, quote, We have attacked, fired upon, and dropped depth charges upon submarine operating in defensive sea area. End quote. The communication is acknowledged. I have taken you aboard an American destroyer in the Pacific, the USS Ward, under the command of William W. Outerbridge. And with me, you have watched as Captain Bill issued the order to fire upon a Japanese submarine, and the sub did go to the bottom. And the 14th Naval District was notified, and nobody back at headquarters seemed to care. History records that we were forced into war with Japan December 7, 1941 at 7.55 in the morning, the Japanese surprise attack at our base in Pearl Harbor. They, say the history books, fired the first shot. Yet through the eyes of Captain Bill Outerbridge, you have seen what happened at the entrance channel of Pearl Harbor more than an hour before. Now you know the rest of the story.